All right, guys. So another fifth round pick. And Cody, I think this one like really shocked us. And it was the tight end out of Miami, Will Mallory. So first things first, when you hear this and you mm -hmm. see them draft this guy, and then on top of the fact that, you know, you already had four tight ends in the room, you picked up Pharaoh Brown uh, this off season. Now you draft another one. Yeah. I mean, so now you have six guys going into this room here. Yeah. I think this move just basically associates you with the fact that maybe we do see Mo Alley Cox continue to be moved this offseason. Uh, I think it's a possibility, if not outright cut, um, just because you can't pay him $6 million and then have all these other tight ends. You mentioned that you already had, you know, Jelani Woods, Kylan Granson. You had Ogletree from last year. You added Pharaoh Brown. You know, you have so many guys and Mo included. And then you go and draft this guy. I do really feel like this is the beginning of the end for Mo. I mean, for what you're paying him. doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to keep him on your roster. He, you know, who knows where he'll be. But for the amount that you're going to pay for him, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. So, But we'll get to Will Mallory here. I mean, ironically enough, Derek, the crazy thing is a 9.05 raw athletic score, which is one of the lowest ones outside of, Hall, of uh, you know, Josh Downs. And uh, it's crazy, like, you know, we would say, oh, man, 9.05, that's weak compared to what Ballard has drafted so far this draft and what he's able to do. But you really look at Will Mallory, he's, you know, outside of really the height and the weight, he's really pretty good to elite in every other category. I mean, he's a, he's a great vertical, great vertical jump, great broad jump, had a great 40-yard dash, great 20-yard and 10-yard splits. That's actually the fastest 40-yard dash of every tight end in yeah. the class. So extremely fast for the position. Um, he offers you another, you know, option here in terms of the receiving game and uh you know you just you think about that in that psych and offense i mean the Colts just continue to add weapons here and continue to add like the speed right you notice that josh downs yesterday and now you add another guy here in mallory just the speed element and just getting guys in open field and, and another guy that we'll talk about later that the colts drafted as well the colts have just really been about getting speed and getting guys that can get open and getting guys that can just outrun people frankly so overall i really like the move i thought a little bit surprising but will mallory the best player on the board here i think he fits well with what the colts tight end class wants to do and chris ballard talked about it he said this is one of the deepest tight end classes i've seen maybe ever and so i wasn't shocked that the colts took a tight end here and, and got their guy and you know really outside of you'll notice this with a lot of these guys that are maybe a little lower even though they're still really athletic it's really about the size it was the same way with downs it was about the size same way here with Mallory about the size. But I tell you what, Derek, you don't always have to be the biggest guy to be a really effective tight end in this league. And so Will Mallory makes a whole lot of sense here for Indianapolis as they continue just to add to that arsenal and continue to add to a really deep tight end room already. Mm -hmm. So it will be interesting to see how that competition plays out and you know how the tight ends kind of work out because the Colts now have like six guys on the roster that could realistically make the final 53-man. Right. Obviously, we know Ogletree is kind of the wild card there. Uh, for everything, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, it, it's very odd to say the least. I mean, you're thinking of some of the other options that this move could incite. Um, it'll be very interesting to say the least. There's still a whole other three picks that Indianapolis has uh, from what we have seen. We've already seen them finish up the fifth round, so now we're going into the sixth. But uh, it'll be very interesting to see what this does because now you got six tight ends on the roster. Uh, you're most likely going to cut that down to three. So who is going to actually be the three or maybe to even keep four, given the fact that, you know, maybe Sykin wants to keep four on the roster. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's not going to be a thing that they're going to uh, take there. But, um, you know, kept away from interior O-line still. Uh, still the one thing that the Indianapolis Colts have not addressed throughout this entire draft process so far. Uh, we'll see if that continues to remain the same or not. But Indy gets another wild card one here with a tight end. Be sure to let us know your thoughts, guys. Thanks for tuning in.